Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutzler. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe for a white balsamic and cherry compote. This versatile sauce can go with anything from vanilla bean ice cream to pork loin to venison chops. So join me now as I show you how I prepare this wonderful sauce. First of all, I'd like to take a medium sized sauce pot and pour four pounds of cherries along with the juices in. Be certain that the cherries are pitted. I then will add one and a half cups of white sugar, one cup of white balsamic vinegar, and a pinch of salt. We will bring this to a simmer and allow it to thicken. Well, now the cherries have been boiling for about five minutes. What I like to do is take my immersion blender and pulse it a little bit. All I'm looking to do is bust up the cherries a bit and it makes it a little easier when I'm canning. Now I have it busted up to my liking. I will reduce the heat to low and allow it to gently simmer until the liquids have reduced and thickened up. Well, it's been simmering for a good 20 minutes now, and you can see how it has reduced and beginning to thicken up. At this time, I like to add one tablespoon of lavender. If you have fresh, that's great. If not, a dry lavender flower will work just fine. We'll give it a stir and let it simmer for another 10 minutes. This is the consistency that I'm looking for. The next step would be to cool it down and then store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator, or we can go ahead and process it in cannon jars. That is my white balsamic and cherry compote enhanced with lavender. I'm a really big fan of using herbs not only in a savory world, but adding them or infusing them in desserts. Herbs like lavender, sage, thyme, rosemary, they go very well with uh, desserts. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. Feel free to like us and subscribe. Be up to date with the most recent uh, additions to our video collection. Thank you for joining us. Yo, if I had.